welcome back so this video is going to be an exercise for you so we have covered how to create the model the resource DAO controller and under the view how to type the view to the controller and create use create view to post now edit is it, it's pretty much like the create um, you're going to use the same exact template and most of the tips I'm going to give you in this video is going to help you with the exercise. So not only are you being, I'm not leaving you stranded. Now, if you don't need the tip and you want to try it yourself, like I said, edit is very much like create. You can go ahead and try it without watching the video. Or if you want some tips, watch the video, but still there's some work for you to be able to do. I even point out exactly where you have to um, put in missing things. I show you functions that look similar to what you're going to need to write. So... Let's jump in and take a look and see if you're going to be able to do the edit form. Later in the next video, I'll provide the solution. And so I'll work you through that so you can compare what I got with what you got. And remember, they don't have to be the same. So even if you come up with something that's different than mine, that's okay so long as it works. That's the important thing. So let's jump into this video. I can give you a run and start by saying if we go to our routes and we copy this, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to call this edit, edit, slash, and then colon ID, right? So which form do you want to edit? Which task do you want to edit? And then it's going to still use the edit, same te template. And then we're going to create a new controller called edit. And it's going to bind things with controller as. I'm going to even go further and say that oh, I'm going to do this, copy all of this here. So all of this, copy it. And then let's create a new controller here called task-edit-controller.js. Paste that in there. And in addition to location, you also want the road parameters, right? Because you saw just now, if you inject the road params, you're able and if you look at the example at the bottom, if you inject road params in your controller, you can know what the current route is. You can get the current parameters that are passed in. Okay, and here's all the code for that. And so, um, with the road param, if you so let's see, is there an example? So, chapter one, and so you could see Moby Dick chapter ID. And so you could see what the URL was, right? This forward slash one. So this is going to be the same thing as we have in the colon ID. So if you want that, you can say road params that chapter ID, or in our case, just ID, that ID, right? Or road that current params that, you know, chapter ID. So either way, you can do it by inserting road or inserting road params. So the only thing I think we really care about is the road parameters so let's insert that so um that 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 saying road prms and insert that road params right and what is it that we want well we want uh, whichever task is being fetched from so we want to fetch a task from the front end, from the back end. So this should be null when you first come in here because you don't have a, you're not starting off with a new task. And the very first thing you should do is this is, should probably be update task. And the task that you want to update, and of course it should call the appropriate update method. No, of course you'll have to add that to our DAO, update task. And then if it's successful, then what you want to do is go to your listing to show it. And of course, if there's an error message, you know, show the error message. So that should be fine. But what you really want to do is, besides that, is get, you know, the task to edit from the back end. Okay, you want to get the most recent one, the most up-to-date one. And that's going to look like something like this. It's going to be task DAO right that get 
um, well, get by ID, right? And so it's going to be the ID that you get from, you know, route param, so task ID. And I'll show you that in a minute. So then do something, catch error, okay? And so here, what is the task ID? So var task ID is going to be equals to your road params that, you know, ID that's passed in. And of course, what you want to do is probably validate it or verify it. You probably want to do if, you know, uh, ng, if not ng, that is string or something like that, the task ID, then, you know, you don't have a valid task ID. And so at that point, you want to do self that mesg, say, um, invalid task ID, or even instead of staying on this form, this is the edit form, you probably just want to return back to the um, list in form if you have an invalid um, thing. Now we can talk later about passing errors or value errors between forms and so on like that. But if you don't have a valid ID, there's no reason you try and fetch it. You should just go back to the list in. And then if it's valid, of course, if you've reached this point, and of course return, you don't want to continue. So if you've reached this point, now if you're successful, function, um, if you're able to fetch a task, that task, of course, that's when you're going to do self that task is equals to new task, given the task that you got back from the back end. And then you're just going to show that. And then if you got an error, so for now, we're going to accept the error, whatever that error message is. But you can't edit anything because if you try to fetch it and it was the wrong thing, then again, you should, you know, just return to the listing and that's it. I mean, we'll talk about how you pass like messages between controllers and stuff, which we did already. We talked about using services to pass messages between controllers. So you can do that if you want. But let's go look at our task DAO. Our task DAO, do we have something to get? So we have get all. We get create task, we have delete task. We do not have get task by ID. But on our resource, we, we already have um, a get by ID. Here it is, get by ID. So the only thing left for us to do is really to add a function to get something by ID. And it seemed to me that the closest one to get by ID is really this one, um, the function for... Um, for delete, right? So if we do that and we copy this down and we say get but task by ID, get by ID, task by ID, and then we pass in an ID, we make sure it's a string. As a matter of fact, since it's, um, we're doing it here, we really don't even have to do it in our controller again. We, um, let's see, where's our edit controller? We actually don't even have to do it here. We can just pass this straight in, copy that, Pass that in, paste that, Reju help us reduce the amount of work we have to do in our controller. Because we are already doing it in the deal. And we call in this get task by ID. So that, 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 that kind of takes care of everything by itself there. So this controller is done. And I said I was going to leave this for you to do as exercise and here I am doing it. But you still have the template to write. So don't think you get enough that easy. And you still have some more stuff to do. Um, so... Get task by ID, we check as a string, reject invalid ID for fetch task to retrieve task. Task, right? It's an invalid ID. If not, if it's success, you can we're gonna get a task if we are able to fetch a task. And um, no, we're gonna return just like up here, we're gonna return that task, right? So we could return a new task, just like when we create it, we just do the same thing, return new task, copy, return the new task if it's successful. If it's not successful, we reject on that ID. And this is not delete, but rather this is get by ID. 
and we know that all this is in our resource, which is get by ID. This is the get thing call. And where's our DU? So we do get by ID, we pass in that ID that was given here, and we do a promise and our success and error. Same thing. Now we still need one more um, function here on our DAO, and that is the update. And if you look at our resource, we already have an update method also. So use that, the fact, just, and again, the update look exactly like the create task here. Exactly like the create task. The only difference is that you use update here instead of insert. So you quite literally just copy this and paste it and change this one method, change the name here from create to update. And then of course, in your edit controller, um, here is the update task already. All you need to do is write that update method. And the get task by ID, we just wrote that one. And so the to-dos for you is to implement your update task in the DAO. So I'm gonna put it here. Um, to do implement task that DAO that prototype that update update task. That's the, the method you need to implement here, right? And um, I'm not even going to give you the skeleton of it because I think it's so easy to literally copy and paste and I'm telling you how to do it. Copy paste this, <laughs> change this to update, change this, this message and that's it. That's your to-do for, for completing um, this deal. The other to-do, let's call this to-do one. The other to-do is to write the template, um, to modify your template to make sure that oh, you can safely handle, um, you know, whether or not you're creating or you're updating. And again, you can do that very, very easily by duplicating this button and then putting an ng if on it to tell you, um, so let me do this, to do two. Um, And this is a, is a key right there because you know it's editing an existing task if you have an underscore ID value. If you don't have an underscore ID value, then you're not. So just duplicate this button and do a test that says ng show my update button when I have control that task that underscore ID. And if I don't, then hide it and vice versa, uh, you know, for, the, for this button. So you just got to add it on there. And that's going to be it. Um, pretty much that's going to give you. And then, of course, up here, you can do a to do to um, some same kind of thing to change how this, this display from whether from update, edit, or whatever you want to do versus create. So, all right. So now I'm finally going to end this video. I think you have enough in place to, um, you know, complete, continue editing it. And of course, if you like, you can change this to a link so that when you click on it, it takes you to the edit form instead. And in the edit form, you can do the delete. So a lot you can continue doing, okay? So um, let's end it there. Um, again, thank you for your time. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for, sticking, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for spreading the word. And I'll see you in the next video. All right.